So you traced me here again. You could at least offer me a seat. Listen, Kayla. You cannot find the peace that you deserve by remaining silent always. What do you want from me? Why can't you just leave me alone? I know I can feel what you're going through. But trust me, I do understand. And all I want to do is help. I mean, what's wrong with that? Let me take you somewhere, okay? Your own timing. I'll be okay with that. A place where there's no sorrow, no pain. Where people like us go with a bleak heart. And we come out with the hope of glory. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. I brought you here so you can make a wish. Do you have a wish? Go ahead. I wish that I can regain my sight so that I can see you. Amen. Amen. Don't you want to make a wish? I wish that your wish will be granted, that you will regain your sight. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
You're right. I've never experienced such peace in my life. Thank you so much for bringing me here. You're welcome. Let's go. Anybody ever told you your smile is beautiful? I mean, it's like simply scintillating. You know, whenever you smile, your face glows. Okay, you're pretty. You're beautiful, you know. And you have a beautiful smile, too. And, and I'm crazy about those dimples. I am. So you're flattering me. And I'm sure you're exaggerating it because I very much think you have seen better, sir. Maybe, but I'm not exaggerating. I think you are really, really beautiful. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Okay, what's the problem? Okay. You know, please leave me alone. Did I say something wrong? Okay, wh what is it? What's the problem? I really would want to be alone. Okay, you have to let go of this past of yours, okay? Just release it. Just don't let it hang around you every time. Please. You wouldn't understand. Because you don't know how it feels like to lose someone you really love. It's only when you've gone through it that you can really understand. You think when, when you're happy, you become disloyal to your past? Hey. You're not in this alone, okay? You know what? Come, let me show you something, okay? Come. Listen, Kayla, you're not the only one with a broken heart. Nor are you the only one who has lost a companion. I have to, okay? I always go to bed with tears in my eyes. But when I wake up, I don't let those pains override me, no. Brother, I accept them as fate quietly. A friend who was prepared to die for me, go all out for me. I thought our loneliness could, could meet. I thought I could depend on you. Maybe you don't have enough love. Kayla, I'll make you a promise, okay? I will never bother you again. Let me take you home.
How are you doing? Ken. Charles. Charles, tell me. Tell me. How? How did it happen? He was brought here in a very bad condition. And, um,. After being here for six months in coma, he's lost his senses. But that's okay, um, he's fine. Um, after some time, he mentioned some few names, and uh, apparently, your name came up. That's the reason for me inviting you here. Can I take him home? Sure. Um, for you all over the house. Here you are. What is it? What I wasn't supposed to see. I saw today. What are you talking about? What are you not supposed to see and where did you see it? Ken. Yeah? You not believe this. But today, I have seen myself dying. You're talking nonsense, Charlie. Charles, what do you mean? I found you, picked you from the hospital. You should be happy for each other. What are you talking about? What is the matter with you? I mean, found somebody I love, I want to get married to, I found you too. Show some excitement. Let's see something. I don't sit down here and feeling so lonely and come on, be happy for me at least. Charles, meet Kayla, my wife. Kayla, that's my friend I was talking about. How are you, Charles? Ken has told me a lot about you. You know, you should thank God that you, you had the opportunity to get a new life now.
Come on, say something. Show some appreciation. Come on. Is your friend okay? Yeah, he's fine. He'll be alright. You know, he's been through a lot, so. But now that he's found me. New open again. New open again. New open again. CK. Charles. How can I help you? In my town. A gentleman who had come to undertake a project used to stay there. Your face resembles his face. And I was just wondering if you might be that same person. His face? Couldn't have been me. Every voice makes a picture in my mind. And after hearing your voice, I don't know why, but I still see that gentleman's face. It's possible, but voices are very similar. Can I ask you a question? Sure. If you love a girl so much, and because of circumstances she would go away, but after some time, you'd realize that she's come back, but she's married, would you just look at the entire act, or would you accept her? Kayla, what's the point? When people die, they don't come back to life. I'm not talking about dying. I'm talking about departing. What difference would that make? If you have love in your heart for someone, and that love no longer exists, it's as good as dying. You're right. Excuse me. Hi. Uh, 
Hey. Can you tell me about yourself? About myself? What do you want to know about me? There was a man in my life that brought me so much happiness. He stood by me at all times, and even though I didn't have sight, he gave me sight. In him, I saw joy and happiness. And just when I had my sight, he disappeared. I'm so convinced that this person is you. You just said you were blind. How could you see it was me? Like I said, every voice makes a picture in my mind. I am just so sure it is you, so please just let me know. It wasn't me. It just couldn't have been me. to a person I call my brother, Ken, a very charming guy. I think you need to let bygones be bygones. Let the past be there. Forget it. It wouldn't help you. You need to not focus on your future. How many kids you want to have, how you can make your husband happy, just let go of the past and look into the future. For me, I think this will work out better that way. What if I was this guy? What would you do? Get a divorce? Are you hiding from me? Hiding? Why would I be hiding anything from you? Since our engagement, you always have this gloomy picture. Are you okay? Yes. I mean, are you happy? I'm very happy. Don't lie to me. So why can't you even look me in the eye and tell me you're okay? Look at you. It's written all over you. I don't know what you're talking about. Because you're refusing to accept there's something wrong. Okay, are you sure you're fine? Yes. Okay. Let me feel that you're fine. Okay? I'm fine. Okay. Let me see you every time, okay? Okay. Oh, let's go inside. Okay. Cool. Love is the song I sing. Love is the song I sing. Oh, love is the song. Oh, love is the song I sing. Love is the song I sing. Oh, love is the song I sing. Oh, love is the song I sing. The song I sing. My daughter, are you all right? Daddy, I'm not. 
What's the problem? Something terrible is happening in my life. Your life? Yeah. Oh, Daddy, can we go in? Please come inside. I really need to talk to you again. Sweetheart. I'm in doubt. Very much in doubt. Akira, is this possible? Dad, it is very possible that my doubt is correct. The voice I hear is that of CK. Kayla? CK is dead. And he's been dead for six months now. Why are you still hanging on to the past? Huh? Answer now. Your body, your mind, your soul must be holding on to the future. Think of the future. Prince is now your future. Look, sweetheart, don't forget your wedding is coming up very soon. Dad, I cannot get married without confirming this. Dad, please don't look at me like I'm a mad person because I'm very sane. You have heard CK speak before, right? Of course. So you can recognize him when you see him? Yes. Dad, all I want you to do is to go with me and confirm this. Ah, Kayla, are you alright? Dad. Dad. Okay, you're alright. Uh, so, where is he now? Dad, he's, he's in the other house with Ken. So please let's go, okay? It's a mystery, the life that we live, destiny is playing tricks on my mind. I believe in love, I believe true love will stand the test of time. Do you recognize him? Hmm. No. I've not seen that face before. No, 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 no. Daddy, please look at him very well. I'm very sure I've not seen that face before. But are you sure? Absolutely. Very sure. Very sure. Can I? Until you tell me who you are. away from me. Kayla, this position will complicate things between me and Ken. So please, please. Ken, okay. oh, it's us. 
There is something I want to talk to you about. And I don't expect you to say no. I want to leave the house. I want to leave this house. I just want to go somewhere, be alone, and think things through. Where do you plan on going? I don't know yet, but probably a guest house or something. I just want to be by myself. But you're alone here, aren't you? It's not the same thing, Ken. It's not the same thing. I just want to be by myself, think about restructuring my life, you know. Tell us I don't get you. I mean, I know you need to restructure. That's why you are here. I mean, I thought you'd be asking for a car, an office, something. Something to keep you going. And go back to on your tracks. Is the old one away? No. I haven't told him yet. But I'll, I'll, it's not a problem. I'll call him and, and tell him about it. I'll see you around. Oh, yeah, ready. Okay.
of the circumstances I couldn't help it I've been hiding all along but there is no way to hide anymore so you were alive all this while and you didn't even tell me I was suffering the whole time and you just watched me there's no need to answer that question anymore is there a point you're getting married tomorrow well I won't get married whether you left or not I kept holding the cross that you left in my finger. I kept in my hand the cross that you left. I was living with the grief of your death. I regretted the day you died. I regretted losing you. And when you came back, you didn't even recognize me. And after all this, CK, you think I don't have a reason to ask you why? I was quiet. I was quiet when I came back. Because you were already engaged to my friend. My best friend, Ken. You already become Mrs. Banahini. What did you expect me to do? What did you expect me to do? By virtue of our custom, you were already married. So, you were sacrificing our love for the injustice destiny did, huh? You couldn't even consider my feelings. You didn't even ask me what I wanted. Who gave you that right? Fine. If you think I made the wrong decision, take my hand. Let's destroy Ken's happiness. Is that what you want? Come on, take my hand. 
Are you thinking twice? Kayla, take my hand and let's leave. Right now. Ken's friendship. His love. Is holding us down. How can we destroy the castle of his dreams? And build ours tomorrow? It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. I'm not a selfish person, and I know you're not. If the shadow of our past falls on you and Ken, I don't see a good future. I just don't. I don't. <laughs> There's one thing I want you to promise me that you would not let Ken find out about you and I. Can you promise me that? Can you promise me that? I promise. If there is ever something I wanted you to do for me, that time is now. I want you to marry Ken. I want you to love him. I want you to have all the kids that he wants. If you care for me in the way you say you do, if you care about my happiness, <laughs> can you do that for me? Can you promise me that? I promise. How will I be able to forget about you? Ken is a loving guy. He's a very, very caring person. He will love you. And that love, I'm confident, will help you forget about. Trust me. Just trust me. As you can see, I'm doing fine. Mama, that's not true. You are not doing fine. I mean, it's written all over you. Because if I know you too well, for one who is so in love, you wouldn't be home by now. What are you driving at? What I am driving at is that your darling color is busy reuniting with her old. One who you said couldn't do you any harm. And as I speak to you, she doesn't even care if you exist. I'm listening. Well, what you don't know is that this your friend, whom your darling killer has hooked up with, is none other than your dearest best friend, come back to life, Charles. I heard they usually hook up at their house. That's at Charles' house. 
You know, I come to wonder what really happens with both of them when your back is turned. That's rubbish, and you know that. Where did you learn that nonsense from? Oh, you make me laugh. Stop being silly, sweetheart. Fear. You were scared. You're wondering, oh, is it true that my darling killer is actually cheating on me with my best friend? And what is it they do? Sweetheart, your guess is damn right. She is surely cheating on you. For the last time, where did you learn that nonsense from? Or you think you can just come in here and blackmail me into getting you back? <laughs> Don't be stupid, darling. You're such a silly lad. You are very foolish not to see what is staring you in the face. They are taking you for a sucker. Open your eyes. Now if you don't believe me, why don't you go over to your best friend's house? <laughs> then you would realize if I'm joking or not. Out. I'm already out. And as for me coming to take you back. I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but I am not a feeling. I'm fine, I'm great. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, Doc, is it, is it possible to have a meeting with you? Yeah, Saturday. Yeah, late afternoon will be fine. Oh, okay, Doc. Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Okay, so Saturday then. Thank you for your time. Hi, Dad. Yeah, my ghost case. Yeah, I'm kicking, I'm kicking. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Uh, yes, I was... <laughs> okay, okay, that's the way I called. Um, is it possible we could have a meeting on, on Saturday? Late afternoon Saturday? No, Doc's place, Dr. Sarah's place. Oh, something short. Yes, yes, come with mom. Yes, come with her. Okay, then. Sorry, you. Yeah. All right, okay. Um, it's all right. Thank you. Bye. Charles, where are they going? Charles, I did, I did, I did. How's everything? Fine, fine. Yeah, look, something came up. Uh, yeah, some business deal there. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, is it possible I can see you on uh, Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Fine time, okay. Saturday, four-ish, late afternoon. Let's meet at Doc's place. <laughs> oh, something, you know, you will understand. You, you only get that, you know, okay? Don't be late, I beg you. I understand. All right, Chop. See ya.
Ken, can you now tell us why we are here? One moment, please. Is this a joke or something? Are you out of your senses? Dad, stay out of this. Ken, for Christ's sake, he's your childhood friend. And I regret it. I regret the day I picked him up. I was under the impression that seeing me settle, he would be the most happiest man on earth. He came back into my life. Still the most priceless asset that I have. As childhood friends, I shared everything I have with you. But that was the greatest mistake of my life. I never knew that one day and steal my happiness. Charles, what's going on here? He has nothing to say. What has he to say? His evil plans are out. I remember the day I introduced Kayla to you. Now I know why. We're planning to steal her. But no. I know I'm married to her, yes. I believe that her heart and soul belong to you. And this will never happen. Stop it! You don't even know what this person you're accusing is doing for your relationship. Yes, it is true that your name is printed on our wedding card, but CK's name is printed in my heart. And even though I'm wearing your ring, every part of me, my body, mind, and soul yearns for CK. Ken. I'm really, really sorry. But I don't love you. I love CK. This person gave me sight. He held my hand and made me fall in love. This person you're accusing of being a traitor sacrifice his love for your happiness and friendship he begged me to get married to you and that's the reason to why i'm wedding you no. i told you i'll make her speak she didn't only speak but she means every little word of it Kayla, I made you cry, so you'll be smiling forever. Charles, I'm proud of you. I am. 